right, so this is a nose, chin, teeth are over here, your tongue's attached to the lower jaw, it moves when the jaw moves. And then this is your airway. So the whole goal is for air to freely flow both directions during sleep unobstructed. When everybody sleeps, this whole compartment can drop back a little bit, but there's still a lot of adequate airflow going on, no issues occurring. Somebody with obstructive sleep apnea for multiple reasons, a narrowing or full closure of that airway passage occurs. When that happens, the blood oxygen level is dropped. Eventually, that blood flows through your body and reaches your brain, and your brain signals, wake up, you need more air. Get out of your deep sleep so that that can happen, and airflow begins again. Uh, your body, blood oxygen level is happier until you are relaxed again and again and again. And this is that cyclical nature of apnea, and this occurs anywhere from five times an hour all the way to 60 and more times per hour. 